How come you're still second in score, Flory? Who's first? Ming? Uh, no, I think France, actually. I mean, I don't have a lot of uh, diplomatic rating, right? Oh, no, Ming's first, you know. Ming's first. But we're catching up to him. It. So, Ming, fun fact, still Chinese tech. Oh, they nerfed trading in wine by a whole lot. That's very good, because that bonus was bullshit. That bonus was bullshit high. That was way too high. So abusive. Right, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna, like, send this navy over to go deal with the Autodur. Oh, shit. We need to, um... Need to get these heavy ships over here. Otherwise, we can't even beat the Autodurps navy. How are we doing in terms of uh, trade power here? Now, it's still only 64%. Wow, that's so disgusting. 64, man. I guess we could go land and lend two, uh, two of these legions in North Africa and start sieging up Tuna. Just to speed things up a little bit. Milan. That's right, I want your coastal provinces, and I want that naval supply province. Other than that, I'd just enjoy it if you left me alone. Well, this is fine. Yeah, this is fine. France no longer has a coastline. Pretty good stuff. Stab up a bit. No, no. Uh, I've got a feeling that I'll be wanting my admin points right now. So I'm, I'm not going to be stabbing up. Not anytime soon, that is. So one of these is going to go on a small detour up there, and then down there. How on earth do you deal with not having ammo points? Because when I play aggressively and take a lot of land, you usually have problems with that. Oh, you just uh, drag this behind. You only tech this up whenever you uh, whenever you hit 999, you get a pretty discount. I don't really care about admin tech. So I don't really care about diplo tech either. The only thing I can really care about is uh, military. And then you get admin and influence ideas, and then this is basically all you can do. Is anyone else that can separate piece in this? Yeah, Tunis. 
Uh, I don't know if you want to though. Okay, I'll walk around. Attack him from two sides. That's risky though, but we can do that. So shouldn't Venice almost be finished? Integrating. See where is uh Picardy? There you go. Say hi to the Ottomans. Now Venice is only at 60%, so that's still gonna take some time. Also, I no longer need this better relations over time, guys. We can now get that Diplo rep dude. Finally. Yeah, you usually want to keep your stab at one plus one though, because if you keep your stab at zero, there's a higher chance of you getting a, an another stab at bringing it to, to negative one. But right now, I'm gonna really need my admin points, so I'm not I'm not gonna stab up. Yeah, I pu'd them, and then my heir died because of a hunting accident, and then my ruler died. So. I had no air, and that dissolves the uh, the PU. Also got a new fancy fancy dynasty, because of course I don't have a royal marriage with someone from the Valois dynasty, so... That's kind of shit, and the Valois dynasty has completely died out. So... These people will finally join the coalition when they can now, because they no longer have that PU with France, so they're like, oh my god, we can kill them now. And uh, because of that, certainly what we want now, uh, because of that, they'll join the coalition and we can finally set up some blocks again, because it's impossible to set up blocks if people don't join the coalition whenever they can. It's really difficult to set up coalition blocks in that case because you don't know exactly what to expect, so you can't plan around it. See, this is why transport ships are use useful in the, in the air of when, when everyone has forts everywhere, because you can bypass the forts by hopping on a boat. What, already? You just said his rebels spawned. Uh, I, I'm, I'm assuming he just got for he just went for exactly fifty percent then. What been, well, I suppose that's fine. Or is he like pretty small? I remember Flory converting to Sorrow and Westernizing at the same time. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. That's such a retard sometimes. Let's not anger the locals. But I guess I should have gotten that uh, that fort. It doesn't really matter. Uh, 
Alright, we've got a crap ton of money again. Apparently France thinks he's hot shit. I don't know why that makes it cheaper, but apparently it does. Nope. That's an exclamation mark. Uh, Frankfurt at Lithuania. Frankfurt is on grasslands, if I'm not mistaken. And it has an important center of trade. OPM stands for One Province Minor. Don't know if I'd classify uh, Frankfurt as a minor, I suppose. They do have a lot of base stacks to start with, if I'm not mistaken. You've got coastal territories, Georgia. I'll be needing those. Also, I'll be wanting to walk through your land. Mostly that last bit, though. Oh, shit, I still can't walk. Oh, God damn it. Thought I'd be able to bypass the fort by declaring war on Georgia. <laughs> Apparently not. No, I'd have to ask access through uh, Poland. But don't OPMs, uh, OPMs, aren't OPMs by definition? One Fort Miners. You know, the biggest gripe you'd have with being an OPM is that you can you only have one province from which you can build uh, units. So that would be uh, be really bad if you lost your regiments. If you'd get stack wiped, you'd be uh, oh my god! If you get stack wiped, there's an OPM. <laughs> Good luck with that. Wait, I already see Georgia down. Wow. <clears throat> oh. Unseed me, did ya, did ya? Man, this Tunis fellow thinks he's hot shit too. Look at that. It's unseed me, did ya? He's like, I can fight back. I can be an annoying shit. I can be annoying shit. Those particularists can can be annoying shits too. Apparently. Hey man, I've got ninety six percent. How about uh, how about you, you you get full annex? No, oh, you don't even get full annex. No, but I don't want to full annex you. I don't think unless there's some random naval supply province here, which there is not. So I'll just be wanting your coastline then, Georgia. And some dockets, and then a lot of treaties, and some war rep. No, why not? It's converted to Catholicism. So expensive. 
Oh my god, so expensive. Holy shit. Doesn't Frankfurt start as a free city? Well, any large nation will only have a, a small amount of forts. It's just that the hordes never really get rich because their land is crap. Muscovy lives! <laughs> Who's that rebellious subject of yours? Uh, Vinland, my colonial Canada, and um, Brunswick. I don't know why Brunswick is being all uppity. <laughs> really now? I mean, I guess I can raise war taxes. Also, a whole bunch of light chips. Hey, France, I heard you thought you were hot shit. I like how they're allied with Finland, even though it's my colonial nation. But they were able to ally Finland. <laughs> Not really sure. <laughs> Not really sure what the fuck is up with that. Maybe I can get to fight Finland. Pretty funny. I could feed all of that land to my uh, to New Norway. And then I won't have a colonial Canada anymore. <laughs> I should continue building this crap. In all of my provinces. Poland paper controller. Oh no. What a terrible day indeed. Hi, Tunis. Well, at least want that naval supply province of yours, and then if at all possible, I'd like to get as much of your coastline. Uh, as 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 possible. Which this seems to be about that, so now why not? So I haven't got them fully occupied <coughs> fully occupied, but that shouldn't take too long. It's so shitty that this doesn't automatically unseage again, even though I've got fully functioning ports. It should automatically unseage this crappy province. It's so annoying. That adds nothing. It's like you gotta leave one guy behind every single time for 
no real reason other than just tediousness. Am I still on the HRE? Maybe dismantle it. I'm uh, not in the HRE anymore. Not for a long time. I I left when uh, when I realized there was no real bonus to it except for the negative two unrest and the plus one diplo rep. This is, a, anyone that that became emperor wasn't really worth avoiding to fight by joining the HRE. So it was kind of like. Why am I even still in this thing? Can I please just unseat this up? Yes. Hey, Tunis. Got all your forts, mate. Really? I'm gonna have to occupy all your provinces just for shits and giggles? Uh, that's unfortunate. No, we no longer care for Russian. Ah. I am occupying Rome, so I get negative 10, so I can't get the modifiers anymore, so Catholicism is pretty shit. And there is no real reason for me to say Catholic, but... Well... No real reason other than I can't be arsed twitching my religion at this point in the game. And not without religious ideas, because it's going to take forever to, uh, to switch if I do that. just the one missionary I'd have to convert all of my provinces to uh, reformed or Protestant and I wouldn't want to be Protestant since I'm not going to get that church power so I, I won't get the full bonus out of that so reformed will be nice get that extra plus 15% morale pretty good shit well pretty decent shit not really good it's just decent All right. <laughs> I'm telling him about all the crazy stuff you've done. Is he a big streamer? Is he like someone that uh, doesn't usually play EU4 or something? I need to have a free diplomat in case France pieces out because I'm immediately going to want to declare war on France lest they peace out themselves. Because if they peace out, they can join the coalition. So. And right now, that war against France is going to be so batshit insane to the wall easy. Because they have no allies. They're not in the coalition. I'm like 50 million times stronger than him. So it's like, you know, we'll be real good. Even more morale. Hey, Tunis. Come on, I know you want to. Let's not play on speed uh, four here. So I need to pause on the day that France pieces out the Ottomans. Otherwise, they join the coalition. 
because they won't join the coalition on the same day, but they'll join the coalition the day after. By the way, Flurry Paradox made it so that you can't delete a unit that switched to generals and occupied territory because of you. How does that feel? Yeah, I was wondering if they did that because of me. I'm not sure though. That I assumed that was because of because I showed them, but I already gave the advice. Like, don't. Well, I, I, who am I to give Paradox advice, right? But like, I already told them like that. Why don't you just make it like a diplomat? Like, if an army gets squashed. Or an army gets uh, gets destroyed, or you unselect a general from an army. It needs to travel like a diplomat would. Like if, say, Trebizond or this province, right? That there's a country in this province, and uh, it's an OPM. It has this as the capital. Why don't you make it as if this there were, there was diplomat improving relations here, and you recall him? Right? Why don't you make it like that? Because that makes sense. Now, because you can't disband armies in occupied territory or um, one province next to enemy army or enemy armies or next to enemy provinces. Now, what you could do, which is a very cool trick, by the way, if uh, any of you guys ever want to play as Byzantium or whatever. Um, now, if say, um, say you're Byzantium, right? So you have Athens and Agribosh is... Uh, is Turkish. Oh, no, that's a weird example. Say you're at Byzantium, you hold Janja, and Corfu is Turkish. It's also a pretty bad example. Okay, say you're Byzantium. No, never mind. Okay, just assume that the Ottomans somehow have Corfu and you have uh, Janja, right? Now, if you trap the Ottoman army on Corfu, the Ottoman army cannot d disband his units. Um because they're next to an enemy province so Ottomans can't disband their units and they can't cross they can't move can't do anything if they have a 50 stack here they can never disband that 50 stack now if you uh, fully occupy all of the Ottomans provinces uh, the Ottomans won't have any income but they will have to pay for these troops because they cannot disband those units it's impossible it's against the game rules now so um, what happens is the Ottomans go bankrupt. So you can <clears throat> effectively bankrupt people really fast using this method. Because if you have if you have to pay for fifty thousand troops, and, uh, and it's even better if they have a navy in there. But they'll probably disband that navy because they can disband navies just fine. But uh, you can bankrupt people with that. And bankrupting people is really cool because their armies won't be able to fight for ten years. Um, like they'll have negative 100 morale so what happens is every neighbor of the Ottomans is going to declare a war on the Ottomans and uh, take 100% by default because the Ottomans literally cannot fight you cannot fight if you're bankrupt for 10 years so if any any war that you fight within that 10 years you're going to have to give up 100% war score now the Ottomans has a lot of neighbors so uh, the Ottomans would be completely annihilated within with one war, right? You need to occupy them once completely, and they'll be completely gone. To top that off, if a country is bankrupt, the province cost goes down. The cost of every single province in his land goes down. So it's if the the war score cost, so you can uh, get more land. They get revolt risk plus three or plus five, I believe. So you know. Combine that with the fact that you've occupied them to the max, so they'll have 20 war exhaustion. Uh, that's that's a, that's a whole lot of revolt risk. So they'll probably explode into rainbows anyway. So yeah, no, that's that is a stupid decision. The not allowing people to disband units in enemy territory and next to enemy territory. Just make the fucking leaders like a diplomat. I know it. I can assume it's like super difficult because like they're not counted as a diplomat, but they should be counted as these agents. And it wouldn't even be a really stupid idea to have an agent over here 
and then have that agent be generals, and then you can see exactly how many generals you have out of the amount that you, you're allowed to get, and then you can do it like this, and then you can uh, you can click on an army, and you can be like a signed general, and then he'll be assigned here, and then you could like right click this army, because now, right now right clicking armies doesn't do anything, you could right click him, and you could be like return on home, and you can do that in enemy territory, you can do that in some other whatever it doesn't really matter where you can do that you can just like right click this and then be like do you wish to uh, unassign this guy and then you'd be like yes I want to unassign this guy that guy makes his way back home if he's in the middle of the jungle of course it's gonna take longer but it takes longer for colonists to walk over there because they're um, they, they, they they're an agent right there they're one of these guys so that makes perfect sense it's not abusable because you, you you literally cannot abuse this. You can't. Of course, you're gonna get somewhat of teleporting generals, but you're gonna get somewhat teleporting diplomats, and it's not very abusive. It's very good. It I really like that. And then if an army gets squished, the agent will get unassigned in the same way that if you're improving relations with, say, uh, Magdeburg, and Magdeburg gets annexed then your diplomat will return on home. So if your army is over here and it's uh, leading the army, it's, uh, you should see leading the army as a diplomat, improving relations, and then you just get him back. Makes perfect sense. Wait, what? I missed the first one. Uh, the first one, how does one bankrupt them? You, um, you block their army in Corf. Say you own this province. You don't even need to own this province. You just need to put like at least 1,000 regiments here. Then they'll be standing next to an enemy army so they can't disband their army. Because usually if you trap an enemy army and you then full occupy them, they will, they, will what they used to do was disband their army if they couldn't pay for it anymore. But now, they can't. So they have to keep that army. And if they have to keep that army, then, uh, then they're gonna just take loans until they can't take loans anymore, and then you just go bankrupt. So. <laughs> but yeah, I really feel like they should make.